Hello there, this is a new tutorial for the procedural frames generator. So if we open the file, this is what we see. We have this frame and it's being generated by this node. So if we go into uh, the layout, so we have a bit, a bit of a better view of what's going on and go into the standard rendering mode and go into edit mode. I do it by pressing tab. Uh, if I go into the uh, modifiers tab and I turn them both off, you see what I have. I have just a simple mesh block with some edges and by these edges the beams are being generated, as you can see. If I with E extrude, I can make more beams. Or I can with command R make edge loops and this way create more geometry and if you put a bevel on it you see that everything is beveled and with color you see that all the beams have correct orientation of the textures and also with the top texture for the wooden beam and it also has some bolts so this way it becomes really easy to generate a frame and you can make architecture, or maybe you want to make furniture this way, some kind of a cabinet, and that becomes really easy. So for example, if we have this uh, frame, we can also adjust the beam width, make really thick or really thin, or we have the steel plate thickness. So this is the connection plate that goes into the beam and then is being screwed by these uh, bolts. Um, these bolts can also be enlarged, smaller, and also we have the bolt offset where we can uh, translate. Oh, I also have to connect them to the other bolts, but that will be done before the update. Also, what we have is uh, the colors of the wood that we can change. Can make like uh, give it a blue color it's being painted or maybe you want to have it whitewashed so you can give it like low saturation uh, maybe make this darker or this one should be darker actually no this color too that should be the darkest one and then this way you can make all kinds of wooden structures also, when we go into the shading, you will see uh, how the materials work. So we have, these are the two attributes uh, that you can set here that is linking to a mix node. And this is the wood top. So the top of the beam. Uh, if you want another top, you can just uh, get your own top and put, put it in here. And also if you go into wood beams, this is like the, the surface material of the longer sides. And this is the steel for the steel plate. I don't have a color parameter yet, but in steel plate you can also give the steel a color. Uh, or you can make it non-metallic. So this way you have a lot of flexibility within the system. Uh, we're also planning to make a steel I-beam frame construction and uh, that's coming up next. Uh, also what you need to know is that it's made to be uh, generated in the exact X, Y and Z axes. So if we extrude this, you see if I am not exactly in one of these axes, the beams will not generate. This is because it's uh, still hard to create like angled beams and their connections. Uh, but that might be in the future that we create also an extra parameter for that. So this is the uh, geometry nodes beam or frame, uh, procedural frames construction node. And I uh, hope you enjoy it.